Come on, ladies. Let's go in and see the haberdasher. He's always got something brewing. Okay. Wow, look at those pumpkins. Those are some crazy decorations. Hmm. Hi, haberdasher. Hi, ladies. Welcome. Hi. Hello. You look absolutely Hello. bewitching Hello. tonight. Why, thank you. Please come in, sit down, relax. Thank you. What do you have brewing today? Oh, wait till you see. We have something very special for your benefit today. So welcome. Welcome, welcome everyone to Happy Hour with the Haberdasher again. And uh, as you can see, we have a special delegation here today to help us with the cocktail. Uh, but before I get to introductions, I want to welcome everybody back to Haberdasher, Happy Hour with the Haberdasher rather. And those of you that tune into our segments may have noticed that we were on a short hiatus. Well, we were very busy getting ready for fall and for the winter months yet to come, for Halloween and for Christmas, uh, for a brisk holiday shopping season. Uh, so we've been changing our windows, we've been moving things around, we've been checking in a lot of new merchandise, uh, especially in the casual wear and outerwear departments. Uh, but we're gonna talk about that in subsequent weeks uh, from here on in. Uh, but today, no shopping just drinking today so we're only going to do a cocktail so you can think of this segment as being halloween or witch's walk happy hour with the haberdasher so what would halloween be in our fair city without witch's walk so this is a big day that we look forward to every year when all of our ladies from the town here get up in their uh, bewitching outfits their costumes and their brooms and descend upon downtown to haunt all of our local establishments, seeking out libations and uh, joyous mischief. Responsibly, of course. Um, so we've been very happy to be able to host them year after year and offer them a different cocktail each year. And uh, this year is no exception in that regard. We have a very special cocktail uh, for you today um, that, uh, that our witches will be helping me with. And uh, so this year is a little bit different because of COVID. We can't descend in one evening and just spread out throughout the town. But we do welcome all the wishes, witches to get dressed up, grab their brooms, and come downtown between October 19th and Halloween on their own schedules at their own time and frequent all of our establishments. And uh, you might even get a treat if you come in. Um, so, so please, ladies, come down, and then you can come in and and check out our merchandise and our assortment for the warlocks in your life. So uh, without further ado, let me introduce our ladies that have uh, come here today. We have the Grand Witch, Donna, over here to my left. Hi, Eric. We have the Supreme Witch, Cora. Hello. And we have Donna's bewitching assistant, Laura, right here. Good evening, Haberdasher. So it makes a wonderful sandwich. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> So now we will get on to the cocktail, as I promised. No shopping, just drinking, again, responsibly. So the ladies are going to help me by explaining some of the ingredients that I'm going to be using in the cocktail today. So our cocktail is called Broom Fuel. And I assure you, after you have one, maybe two of these, you won't be able to repeat that in succession rapidly at all. <laughs> So we're going to start with our principal ingredient is, and before I do that, actually, I'm gonna put some ice in the shaker. So this is gonna be a shaken cocktail. So we're gonna grab some ice in here. Now you can make this in a standard rocks glass, but today we've chosen to use these little cordial glasses that you'll see lined up here with a little ghost ship on it um, because it's going to lend itself to our garnish a little bit easier. Plus, this is kind of potent fuel that we're going to be using today. So we're going, to, we're going to start in smaller quantities. So if I do this right, we should have enough to fill all five of the little glasses here, at least part way. So I'm using the shaker, and this would be the equivalent of like two regular rock-sized drinks, basically. So we're going to start with our principal ingredient, which is bourbon. Ladies, would you like to tell us a little bit about bourbon? I would love to tell you about bourbon, because I looked in my book of spells, and bourbon is used in magic to ward off evil. And I found an interesting tale about St. Patrick. So St. Patrick was having a cocktail and he didn't like the size of his drink. So he told the innkeeper that it was skimpy. 
And then he told the innkeeper that there was an evil spirit causing mischief in the basement of the inn. Well, the innkeeper was startled and upset and said, what can I do, St. Patrick? So St. Patrick, being the devilish little person that he was, said, if you fill the glasses of all your customers to the brim, then the evil spirit will leave. And so the innkeeper did that. And, he, and then St. Patrick said, the spirit is gone. He has left the building. So, Eric, be sure not to skimp on our cocktails today. I promise I will not. We have to dispel evil. Yes. We do. Yes, we do. We have to do that. And at home, you can anoint your windows and doors to keep the positive energy flowing. It would be a waste of bourbon, however, would it not? My husband would think <laughs> it was a waste of good bourbon also. Well, we have chosen a very special bourbon for our uh, cocktail today, the Old Forester 1920 Prohibition Style. So this particular bourbon happens to be 115 proof. So that, I should say, should uh, kick in the, the broom fuel a little bit. So we're going to start in our shaker with, uh, with two generous parts of our bourbon. That should do for now. The next ingredient we are going to move to um, will be apple cider. Ladies, I can anything tell on you, cider? I can tell you a bit about apple cider. I don't have any St. Patrick stories to share <laughs> or any other saint, but I can tell you that apple cider is used in magic for harvesting what you have already planted. Say if you're working on getting a new job or a new home, drinking apple cider when visualizing the outcome will ensure your success. So, bottoms up to the cider. Wonderful. Well, we have uh, cider here today from the Enchanted Orchards of Quarry Hill. So we're gonna use like a generous three or four parts of this actually so that we have enough here to work with. Two, but our next ingredient is going to be brandy. Ladies? Ooh, brandy. That's right up my diagon alley. <laughs> Witches use brandy in love potions, calling love to you or attracting a long lost love. Brandy is also good to soothe the cold and boost your immunity. Especially relevant today. Yes, it is. So we're going to start with a half a part of brandy. Generous, generous for all that good love. All right, so we'll move to our other table here for more ingredients. And uh, this time we're gonna go with a little bit of maple syrup. Ah, maple syrup. Maple syrup, a favorite of some of my elf friends. Oh, it's also a good ingredient for marinating salmon, if you care to know that. <laughs> Used in magic, maple syrup draws money to you and ensures a long life. Here's to money and long lives. Haberdasher likes both of those. So we're gonna do two generous bar spoons full of maple syrup here. Sweeten this cocktail up a little bit. Just mix that in a little bit. All right, so we have more to do. So we're going to next add a little bit of Benedictine. So Benedictine is an interesting spirit. This was actually, um, this was actually first uh, devised by a monk back in the 1500s. And it was first imported from France. Uh, it was a Benedictine monk. And it was first imported from France in 1888 to the United States. And it's comprised of 27 different plants and spices. And I have read that there are only three people on the planet that know the full recipe of this particular uh, spirit. So we're going to use a half a part of Benedictine here as well to kind of give that cocktail a little bit of depth. All 
right, so we're almost there. She's got one last ingredient, and this is our aromatic bitters. And we're gonna give it a couple good dashes of aromatic bitters. Oh, make sure we get it in there. All right, gonna add a couple more cubes, and I'm gonna give that a good shake. seconds or so roughly. Alright, so let's distribute that as best as we can between our five glasses here. spoke of Eric was a friend of mine. Was he really? I figured you two went way back. That should be good to get us going all right. So now we have a special garnish plant for this which is rather delicate. That's why I have them lined up here, little glasses uh, behind. So it's comprised of rosemary, and cinnamon. Ladies, would you like to add something to either or both of those? I read something about rosemary. It says here that you can keep rosemary around the home for protection. Hang it in your doorway. And also, rosemary can be burned as an incense. And I have a spell that I use whenever I get the cinnamon out. Money flows, money grows, money shine, Money mine, so mote it be. Well, we have our witch's broom all lined up here with our broom fuel. And we're going to light these brooms, add a little bit of smokiness, and hopefully we won't set the place on fire, God willing. smokiness there. There we go. We'll let those burn down just a little bit and then we'll serve it to our witches that have come to join us today. Haberdasher. Thank you. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Thank you, kind sir. You're welcome. For my videographer, I'm going to set this right over here on the edge of the counter because she's done such a great job. All right. So, ladies, yes. cheers. Happy cheers. Halloween. Happy Witch's Walk. Uh, drink and fly responsibly, please. And uh, enjoy. Cheers. 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 Tasty. Not bad. Mm. Not bad at all. So, until next time, cheers. Take care. Happy Halloween. So we'll see you. Bye. Bye. Cheers, witches. Ah!